Good morning. It is Tuesday the 12th of March today and it is the first day back at work from our short break and it's miserable again. I mean, is it ever really going to stop raining? I don't know about you, but I'm a bit fed up with it now. It can just go away. So I've got to get out the car to get into work. And I don't want to. I'm not feeling it. sausage looking at me today that was behind me and he was looking at me as if to say hurry up hurry up and I just felt like fingers and thumbs and I was dropping everything so I feel a bit stressed now and I can't wait to get home and I will show you what I picked up when I get there see you later Good afternoon everybody, it is Wednesday today and it's the 13th of March and I thought I'd just pop on and have my little chat with you about our weekend and our visit to the East Anglian Yarn Festival which was organised by 
a lovely lady called Laura from The Lonely Knitter. Uh, thank you Laura for all your hard work and for making this yarn festival so wonderful. Uh, you can really see all the hard work that went into it. I can only imagine all of the work for the whole weekend. It must have been so much but it's your hard work has paid off and it was lovely, very magical. Uh, so yes, I've just come on to have a, a little talk about that. Just wanted to mention Laura before I forget. <laughs> because you know what my memory is like. I've got my book here. And I've been adding to it over a few days. But I've sat here and thought I, there's other things I needed to put on there. But it's gone out of my head. <laughs> so I'm just back from work. And it's still blowing a hoolie out there. It's really, really windy. But it's not raining, so that's a bonus, isn't it? And I've been dreading this part again because, as usual, I hate sitting down having this formal chat. It's just not me. Everything goes wrong. <laughs> so, I've, anyway, I just want to share with you the lovely things I bought. So let's start. First of all, I'll just start with some gifts. I'd uh, no sooner got out the car, Mark dropped me off and he popped off for the day and had a day out in Norwich with his uncle because his aunt and uncle live in Norwich, so that was handy. And while he was dropping me off, I bumped into a lovely couple of ladies called Jill and, hold on, Jill and Teresa. I knew I'd forget Teresa, I don't know why. I knew I'd remember Jill, because I've got an Auntie Jill, but I knew I'd forget Teresa. <laughs> Jill and Teresa, and they were a lovely um, friends. And uh, Teresa, I think it was Teresa, was visiting from Canada. Or was it Jill that was visiting? One of them anyway, <laughs> I think it was Teresa. And they were having their little weekend away at the Arm Festival, and they watched my vlogs. And it was lovely to meet them. They gave me a lovely little gift. And I popped it into the car because I didn't want to carry it around the yarn show. And I opened it when I got home. And I just couldn't believe the gift, really. It's so kind. You can, you can tell that they've been watching me. And they've obviously watched my previous vlogs. Because they picked up on something that I was talking about. And you'll see from the gift. But it just blows me away, the kindness of strangers. And it really restores your faith in human kindness, doesn't it? And even my husband said, wow, that's so kind and thoughtful. Uh, so, yeah, I've taken it out of the wrapping because I didn't want to rustle. But I have to show you this tissue paper. Look, bumblebees, isn't it pretty? And it's got like a little scallopy edge, like a lot of my crochet. So I folded that up and I'm going to try and fold it up a bit better than that and keep it and reuse it because it's so lovely. And in this little bag, there's a lovely card. Bunny rabbits, of course. And to be very careful. This lovely little trinket, look. Now you know that they've been watching because they put the fort into the Holly Hobby. So this is a pretty little trinket and I'll treasure that. Thank you so much, ladies. And yes, and I love the words on this as well because it just sums up the gift, doesn't it? A little kindness can bring a lot of happiness. And it certainly did that. And this is a little plaque. So I can hang it up on my wall in my craft room. How lovely. I will confess to being very tearful when opening this. It doesn't take much, does it? <laughs> but oh, it's lovely. And the ladies were lovely as well. And they see me walking around the show and invited me to go and sit with them to eat my lunch. And... I had a little peck of my lunch. I couldn't eat it all because I had such a nervous tummy, <laughs> nervous, excited tummy, that I couldn't eat until the evening. 
so thank you once again ladies and I hope to I think it's Teresa sorry if I'm wrong I hope Teresa that you probably where are we Wednesday you're probably home now uh, but do let me know that you got home safely and it was so lovely to meet you I hope uh, we managed to bump into each other again maybe at one of these shows and stay in touch anyway you've got my message my Instagram messenger so please do stay in touch and let me know that you're well so that was lovely and this was the little booklet I managed to pick one up this time it's a nice keepsake isn't it and it's got all of the stalls and a map so I'm keeping hold of that there we go and you can guess the first stall I went to can't you <laughs> there <laughs> so yeah I, I homed in on Paula very first because I was so desperate to see her because I'm a super fan and it was so lovely to meet Paula and James and I've got he has got a name Harry this is Harry <laughs> and Paula and James are as lovely in real life is what they are on their vlogs so lovely to talk to and that's the pretty line in look And I've got my sock in there that's still underway. I did get a little bit more of the second sock and not much more. <laughs> oh, wrong way. Cuff down. I'm still making progress on that one. So that was my first purchase. And then... Little bear from Paula. I know she does the clubs, doesn't she? But I just had to get her. And look, I think her dress... Does her dress match the... No, not quite. Oh, isn't she cute? Now, I don't know if you're watching, Paula. But I don't know if she has a name. Or if I can name her. If I'm to name her, the bag's Harry, so I think I might call her... Harriet. <laughs> Harry and Harriet. Unless she has a name. Let me know, Paula, if you're watching, if she has a name. Isn't she cute? <laughs> so that was my purchases from Paula. And I wanted to keep going back saying hello, but I was too chicken. I wanted to have my picture taken with her, but no, I got stage fright. <laughs> I purchased a lovely key ring from the corner of Crafts. I wanted one of these last year and missed out. Ooh. Isn't it lovely? Does it zoom in a bit more? There. Oh, I love it. I love it. So that will be getting used. And what else did I get? Oh, yeah, just two skeins of yarn. And these were from Blue Fern Yarns. So I got this one. And this was in her bargain bucket. So I got a bit of money off that one. Mm. And it's not big enough to cover that. But it's my colours. And this nice pink one of course <laughs> and I've no plans with these I just had to buy some yarn and uh, Blue Fern Yarns is uh, run by uh, doo -doo -doo. is it Shannon? I think her mum's called Amanda again that could be I could be wrong but they also have a podcast called Norfolk Girls Knitting uh, so you can pop over there and this is the softest squidgish yarns lovely uh, yeah so that was 
my only purchases really i was very good and restrained because i'm trying to keep was trying to keep a bit of money back for uh tonight when jules and bryony from so sweet violet have their craft uh easter fair and i've seen lots of pretty things on there that i would quite fancy so i don't know if this vlog will be going up today or tomorrow but if it's going up today and I get it up before six o'clock then don't forget go over there <laughs> I've never seen a table so pretty with as many lovely Easter type gifts uh, there's project bags there's oh, loads of stuff baskets with fabric bits again similar to what she done at Christmas uh, there's notions and tools so yeah definitely go over there if you're looking for something nice to treat yourself or you've got any Mother's Day pennies left and that's six o'clock this evening but it could have already gone if this goes out tomorrow <laughs> uh, so yes that's it it was a wonderful day I met so many podcasters I've got my notes here so sorry but if I don't look at my notes, then I will not remember. Uh, so many to mention. I met... Um, I haven't written them all down. I've got Davina from Little Workroom Crafts. I met her again. I see her last year. So we had a good old chit chat and sat together for, for the podcasting event where we all got to meet other po podcasters that was lovely Ali from Little Drips Drops of Wonderful she was there and that was again I didn't really get chatting to Ali because I've got just stage fright again <laughs> um oh so many others oh the I've listed them all below anyway so please you know go go and have a look um I've got my lovely little shawl on and this was a gift from the lovely Sharon. I come home and I've been home a day and the postman bought a box to the door. And this lovely shawl was in the post. And that's Sharon from SCR1TNO Knitting. I always get it wrong, so I definitely have to look at my notes there. And she's a lovely friend. And we've got so chatty with each other. But look, isn't it lovely? I love things like this because they really keep my neck warm. Oh, messy hair. Look. And it's got tassels on it. And if you want to know what this is called, you'll have to go to Sharon's vlog, podcast, vlog. But it looks like, I could be wrong Sharon, so let me know. But it looks a little bit like the Red Robin shawl from Helen Stewart. Could be wrong. I love it. And in the box was lots of other little goodies. And this as well. I've got to show you this. It's Holly Hobby. So you can guess what I'm going to do with that, can't you? I'm going to make a lovely project bag with that. Although on the subject of project bags, I was busy making stuff before I went away and I had all these lovely key rings prepped, ready to sew together so that I could give some away at the yarn festival. And I popped my, my foot down and broke my needle on my machine. And I knew I had a spare packet somewhere, but do you think I could find them? No. So I think they've got lost somewhere along the way when I, I was moving rooms. So I've ordered another two packets and it's been over a week and I'm still waiting for them. So that's frustrating because I want to get on and do some sewing. And in the box, there's lots of other little goodies as well. Some lovely notebook. need notebooks. So 
some of the pencils and some mini skeins to go with my blanket and this little wind up noddy is it called a knitting noddy but look it's the spotty emma bridgewater colors i love it i love it and i've got a little drops of wonderful card as well <laughs> i've been so spoilt thank you so much sharon ah, so that's that and i'm going to wear this shawl everywhere but I'm going to keep it for best. Can you imagine in the summer, you know, if you're feeling a bit chilly, you can pop it around your shoulders. It's so pretty in my colours. Uh, da 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 da. What else? Knitting wise, yeah, I started a new sock when I was away because I just wanted something that I didn't have to think about in the car. But I struggle to knit in the car. I get a bit sicky. It's a bit like reading in the car. I can't read in the car, so I, I didn't get much done actually in the car. And there we go. I'm using this yarn. And that's got some glitter in it. And that is... Oh, sorry, my nose is running again. That is a... Super sparkle sock, 75% super wash merino, 20% nylon, and 5% silver stellina. And this was back from last year. And it's a yarn from Down Sheepy Lane. There we go. And I'm just using my go to pattern. my toe up sock from Jules. And that's in my lovely moon mouse bag of course. Now my cardigan I've had a bit of trouble with really. Not no surprise there. <laughs> so far on it and I got to the point for coming down the sleeve and you have to join them with a slip stitch and it just didn't seem very tidy and I think it was a little bit knobbly and I think the knobbly bits would get on my nerves so I'm not sure what to do about this oh I have left it on I have left the sleeve on so that's how far I've got Can you see? I have to stand up. There we go. Done all that. Done all this down the side. And all this along the bottom. I've done around the neckline with the lovely scallopy edging. And I've come down this sleeve. But, I mean, look, this is the join. on the inside it feels quite bobbly and I don't know if that's going to get on my nerves and also it's quite tight so I think I need to rip that back I don't know I need to rip that but yeah it does it feels a bit tight for me I need to rip that back and maybe not do so many decreases that it calls for for me or oh. I might just keep it a short one and come down a little bit further than that. I don't know, I'm undecided. I might look for, for a few more tutorials just to check that I'm doing that join properly because it doesn't seem right to me. Mm, I don't know. Anyway, I'm happy with it. I'm happy the, with the way it's coming together. I'm just not very happy with the sleeves. So that's how far I've got on that one. So that's that done. That's everything. Yep, yeah, that is everything. So.
so I hope you're all well and I hope you enjoyed the vlog that went out yesterday it wasn't perfect I'm sorry it was just quite difficult to film with people around I found it really embarrassing <laughs> and I don't like sticking my camera in people's faces but we did have a lanyard given to us so people kind of knew what we were doing and I'm quite good if I need to edit out people's faces but it was a wonderful day and I went home feeling quite overwhelmed by it all because I had a few taps on the shoulder and it's just a bit surreal because people knew me but of course I didn't know them <laughs> but yeah a wonderful magical day and I can't wait for the next one which will probably be in September now for Yarndale although I did look up to see that there is one in Buxton hopefully hubby's not watching this because he'll know what's coming next <laughs> a trip away to Derbyshire perhaps in May I think it's towards the end of May Oh yeah, a truly magical day and when I got home I had my tea and fell asleep and Bilbo just loved the weekend because just down the road was a beach so he was very happy and you can see how muddy he got. Uh, was there anything else to mention? Yes, there was. And that is... Covered that, covered that, covered that. Just podcasts. So I wanted to just mention a podcast, and that is my dear friend Abby, who lives in southeast Arizona, and she's got her own uh, podcast. And she lives in Arizona, as I say, and she's a whiz at, I'm gonna have to say it, aren't I? Aramigroom, Aramigroomy? <laughs> Let's just say crochet. <laughs> Um, so please do go over and give her a bit of love and give her a, a, a subscribe because she also talks about her home, her family life and has some cooking as well and she's just a beautiful soul and her channel is called So Sorry Abby if I'm saying this wrong I'm sure I am Hacienda Homemade Handmade Homemade but I'll, I'll link her here if my editing's getting better and if not she will be down in the description just go and show her a little bit of love I've not listened to any books at the moment when I've been at work I've just been listening to music for my vlog so when I'm at work I will go through some of the tunes and either cast them aside or give them a like and that's how I do my research for the music. If they make my heart sing or give me goose pimples, then I use them. And I've been doing a lot of that lately because there needs to be a fair bit of music on yesterday's vlog. <laughs> and I don't want you to get bored with the same songs. I'm back. The battery's not gone, but the camera just cut out. I obviously thought I'd done too much chatting. <laughs> As I was saying, I need to go and make a, a cottage pie for tea. No more baking still, but having said that, I'm going to make a lemon sponge cake. A lemon cake of some description because mum said the coffee cake was delicious and she would like a lemon one next time. And we have friends over at the weekend and we are going to go out for a meal, just the four of us. But I'm sure we'll be popping back here at some stage for tea. So it would be nice to have a bit of cake in case they would like some cake. So I've that to do. I made a lovely soup yesterday because I was out of soup. Just a simple soup with some carrots and parsnip that I had left in the fridge. And that was really yummy. You know how sometimes your body just seems to crave vegetables it's it's doing that at the moment so anyway I can get the veg in I will and what else no I think that's it although once again I'll switch off and remember a whole host of things <laughs> but I can save it for next week can't I 
I hope you're all well and that you're going to have a lovely week, the rest of the week. And I will see you in the next one. Lots of love. Bye.